Recently, there have been some disasters where our agencies have responded. And based on the fact that we already collaborate in a consortium, we've been able to coordinate our response, enable a coordinated response that ensures application of minimum standards for disaster response and has helped us better articulate who we are and how we can provide assistance both to the uh, direct beneficiaries but also to the government. Indonesia certainly has enough capacity. Uh, we're not questioning the quantity in terms of numbers of people available. But what's most important is that, you know, in a time of response, in a time of disaster, there are recognized world standards which we need to hold ourselves accountable to. So I think it's more about finding that wealth of capacity in terms of Indonesians who want to be part of this industry, who have experience, and making sure they are aware of applying minimum standards. The best example I can give you is in West Sumatra, Padang earthquake, yes. October 2009. Mercy Corps was the only international NGO together with Build Change, which is a very small NGO, and JICA, were the only three organizations in Padang working on disaster preparedness. 48 hours after that disaster, there were 300 organizations in town. So, you know, I don't think it's about, are we not able to, do we not know how to? It's more about ensuring people really understand what are the processes, what are the procedures, how do we meet minimum standards, and most importantly, building the mechanisms to coordinate with government, because ultimately government is really the one responsible and needs to lead response during a time of disaster and a time of need. The, the most uh, critical challenge really is, is ensuring communication and coordination between all of the relevant stakeholders, be that government, community, village leaders, and then the international community and local organizations. The big question is, what is the future? Who's ultimately going to finance and resource these kinds of initiatives? Indonesia certainly is a country that's perhaps different from others in the world where the government here has resources. And so really our biggest challenge now is to understand how we engage with government and how we coordinate with government and have government adopt adapt and scale these kinds of initiatives using government resources to ensure the benefit is ultimately there for the people of Indonesia.